Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> feast your eyes upon this. We have Fallout, a post-nuclear role-playing game, a.k.a. Fallout 1. Fallout 2, a post-nuclear role-playing game, a.k.a. Fallout 2. And Fallout Tactics, Brotherhood of Steel, a.k.a. Fallout 2 and a half. I don't know, what do you want to call it? <laughs> Uh, anyway, so these three games are free on the Epic Store. Go grab them while you still can. It is freaking amazing. I've already put them on a message, but maybe I'll make a video about it. I don't know. I'm not going to pull up any trailers or anything like that. I think you guys watching my channel already know what these games are. Go pick them up. The response, of course, is pretty impressive. So please go get yourself a copy from the Epic Game Store and play these games because they are good, despite what the jerks on the Internet tell you. <laughs> Thus, Fallout 1, grab yourself a copy. Oh, with the blinding light again? Seriously? I thought, they, I thought they'd fix this last week, but they certainly didn't. And they're having me AI select the panda. He, can he get a panda in a living room? <laughs> Alright, whatever, 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 whatever. Next. And then I'm just going to... I'm just going to select everything because I don't care. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Train you wrong. So that's Fallout. Here's Fallout 2. Let's grab a copy of that. Place that order. And then the last one is Fallout Tactics. I would have thought they'd give these away like one a day, but they didn't do that. Instead, they just went ahead and gave them away all at once. And all on one day. I, that's actually kind of cool. I have all these games on Steam already, but I may as well grab them for Epic Store anyway. And there we go. All three of the original Fallout games. For free, today, on the Epic Store. Guys, grab a copy if you're interested. Game Store doesn't have the same kind of DRM that Steam has. Um, I don't know whether or not the Epic Game Store has DRM per se. Let's test it real quick. I know that Fallout, Fallout 2, and Fallout Tactics don't have any DRM. Because the source code for all, for at least Fallout, Fallout 2, were lost. So adding DRM to them is practically impossible without hacking the, the executable somehow. So let's test this real quick. I'm going to install Fallout from the Epic Store here. And we'll take a look and see if I can just exit the Epic Store and just start Fallout. You should be able to. Uh, rather, not that it's impossible to hack the executable, but rather that it's way more difficult than it's worth. Fallout. Install. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care. There we go. Okay. So it, cre it should have created a shortcut, which is probably behind this guy right here. Ah, there it is. Okay, here's the shortcut right here. Okay, so here's the Epic Store icon right here. Right click, exit. Okay, you see it's exit. I don't have any Epic Store running, so let's try to play Fallout. It's either going to launch the Epic Store or it's not, and that's the question. Okay, so it does launch the Epic Store that way. Okay, so that's with the launcher here. So let's exit the, exit, uh, the Epic Store again. And I'm going to exit this launcher. Well, I know where it installed to, so hold on a sec. So Epic Games, Games, that's where I installed it to. Here's Fallout. And you could probably delete a bunch of this stuff. But anyway, so I'm just going to delete this link because that's trash. Uh, launcher, Launcher, Fallout 1, English right there. That's the one. And then here's Fallout. Uh, yeah, it, in fact, it's the exact same one it looks like. Uh, what's, uh, what, what is this? What is the F1 res that I and I come with? The high res mod for it. Okay, yes, it's all the same stuff in the Steam version, it looks like. And we just, uh, you can just launch it right here, Fallout W or Fallout WHR. The HR is the high resolution one. That's the one you'd want. Uh, the thing is... Ah, and it runs right there. Okay, the thing is, there's some settings you always want to change. You want to hit F1 res config here and change this to match your resolution, your refresh rate, windowed scaling times two I like, and then hit enable. And then that'll make it a much more playable game. Hit done and then open it up one more time. And this is one more setting I like to, to turn on here. Open it one more time and then click this manually edit config button. Opens up this file. Extra in message checks to one. That's a good one. Alt mouse input. I like to sometimes you want to set that to one. Depends on what you're feeling like. And then windowed full screen here is my favorite. Change that to one. And then you can alt tab out and it'll stay full screen. Save that. Fallout high resolution here. 
And there we go. And as you can see, there is no Epic Store down here running at all. That's NVIDIA Control Panel. So there's no Epic Store here. Here's Fallout running just like that. And new game. And we'll just take a default character and just skip through the intro section. There you go. Pretty well, you have to install it with the launcher. Just delete their shortcut. And then you have to just make your own shortcut out here, you know. Create shortcut here. And fiddle with it however you want. Nice. I run the game with the fix mod. It works and it has some nice stuff in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this does not have the mixed fix mod pre-installed with it, of course. Neither does the Steam or GOG version. But this does have the high res pa mod patch or whatever installed with it. So just install the fix mod on it and you should be good. It works. I'm pretty sure it works exactly like every other version of Fallout. So I'm going to install Fallout 2 and test that same stuff. See, there's a difference between the uh, Steam version and Steam GOG version and the Bethesda.net version for some reason. Bethesda.net version have a, has a slightly di earlier version of S Fall, and I just want to see what version of S Fall they have for Fallout 2. There we go. I'm going to install Fallout 2 now. It takes about the same amount of time. And we're not going to create a shortcut because that shortcut is trash. Okay, Fallout 2. All done. Yeah, whatever. Exit. Epic Store exit. Games, Fallout 2. Fallout 2 English. Fallout 2. Oh, let's, uh, let's have to res config before we start. Screen size. Uh, 75 hertz. Windowed scaling. Enable. Yes done and then reopen it one more time manually edit config and then down here windowed full screen to one file save exit and then run fallout to hr here um, and of course shh, it's not every time options that down and once again epic store is not running down here so yeah um, one thing I wanted to check real quick is to make sure that the ddraw dot the ddraw the yeah the ddraw dot ini was the same one uh, version three point one, which should be the same. Let me open up my as the Steam version. Fallout two vanilla and ddraw ini yeah three point one, so yeah they have the same S fall version. 